Welcome back in the kitchen again with Chef Ricardo cooking show. It's amazing. Anyway, I want to do you a nice, lovely vegetarian soup today. No meat. We're going to be using beef vegetables. Hopefully, you guys will like the recipe. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave the comments below. Thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo show. We've got a lot more recipe will be coming for you. So this one is going to be vegetable soup today from Chef Ricardo with pumpkin dumpling and, you know, sell off. Stay tuned. Nice and lovely, guys. So basically, this is my medium-sized pot right here, which I'm going to make you some either vegan soup or vegetarian soup. You can have this one today, all right? So basically, inside of my container right here, I'm going to be using the Jamaican Valley vegan vegetarian soup, and I'm going to put a little bit of the all-purpose season inside of it. It's going to bring off a lovely flavor, all right? Second thing, I have some things which I've, I'm already prepped up. I'm just what I'm going to do. I have a few cups of water inside of the pot. As you can see, the pot starts to boil up. All right, so we're not going to waste of time. So what I'm going to do, this is my pumpkin, which I'm cutting up right here. And I'm going to simply cut up my pumpkin a little bit more smaller. Like this, medium sizes. And I'm going to pop it straight inside of the water like this. You can put it into a smaller container. Or you can prep it first. I'm going to show you how to make a lovely vegetarian soup. The more pumpkin, the more color. All right? Nice and lovely. So this is the pumpkin which I'm being cutting up at the moment. So, nice. So, right here, this is the pumpkin in the water already. All right? Um, I must say to you what I'm going to do is to get the vegan vegan season and I'm gonna put roughly a tablespoon of the vegan season of the water like this that's going to be bringing off a lovely flavor meantime it's cooking and also I'm going to be getting the Jamaican Valley season and I'm gonna put a tablespoon uh, so you know just for it to go on boil up in the water all right that's the first thing we need to do is make the pumpkin on and in the meantime what you're going to do next is to cut up your rest of vegetable lemon at the meantime also but before we cut up the rest of vegetable what you can do also guys to be honest give you an easier way you know what i mean if you're going to make vegetarian soup vegetable soup or ve any kind of soup chicken soup beef soup you have to learn how to make jamaican cornmeal dumpling and that's one of the first thing i do earlier so this is a cornmeal dumpling which i make earlier all right guys so basically i know there's a lot of ladies doesn't like to dirty up them on and they've got long nails but they love jamaican cornmeal dumpling you can some of the ladies don't does like to use their hand you can use gloves all right so i want to make the ladies them um, you know what i mean feel comfortable uh, so you can use these gloves to make your jamaican cornmeal dumpling and i'm gonna show you how you do that one all right you can get a cups of flour and a cups of cut half cups of cornmeal or three quarter cups of cornmeal and all i have to do is just knead it until you form a dough like this so what happened with the gloves the gloves only doesn't just make your hand dirty it does bring out the dough a little bit more even smoother when you make the dough you need to put it down for roughly about half an hour that's what you want to do so what i'm going to do i know that it start to boil a bit but i'm just going to show you how we're going to do some some of these dumplings to put them in a pot in the meantime all right you know it's a vegetarian soup we are making today vegan can have it also so this is kind of dumpling that we want to make today just like this some look around dumpling and put them in a pot like that so ladies if you don't want to dirty your hand you can use gloves you know what i mean some ladies long have long nails and really fantastic so what you want to do is use the gloves it's fine you know what i mean nothing wrong if you want to use gloves to make dumpling in another country you know what i mean but jamaican doesn't like that but you know what i mean you have to treat the ladies i'm special so ladies yeah this is another way where you can make a dumpling because some love some ladies love jamaican dumpling enough, but they don't like to make it because their hand get dirty and then don't like the stickness on the hand with the flour so this is another way where you can do and honestly it's perfect and all I have to do is just break off piece 
and roll it into your hand ladies just like this put it into the pot and make it cook for roughly one nice good time until you see when you see the pumpkin start to get mashed away you know that the soup is going to be you know what i mean get that lovely color yeah so we're gonna do all of the dumpling like that nice and lovely guys so basically as you can see the soup right here this is it all right what we're going to do is cut up the rest of vegetables we got a piece of a thyme you can drop the thyme that make it go and bring in a lovely flavor this is a carrot all right so basically we don't want to cut them up too chunky you can cut them chunky but not really too chunky 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 you know what i mean just want to get them perfect and we're gonna start put some vegetables in it everything just gonna cook down together everything cooked down together you're just gonna get that nice lovely flavor from the soup and i know you guys are definitely going to love this one yeah it's going to be amazing soup from chef ricardo today so i'm using a few carrots inside of it um this is some sweet potato i know when i make sweet potato when i make soup you have to put these things in it sweet potato i'm gonna cut them up you know really nice and lovely but a little bit small but hopefully everything will hold in it i mean we need a bigger pot <laughs> all right look like we're gonna need a bigger pot but this is a pot i, I hit me i use today not a choice chocha it's a must I have to put some chocha in it and then um, this is some white potato can't make soup without these things normally I put all yam and all them things but I don't want that today you know I'm just gonna keep it simple but the way I do this as soup here yeah, is gonna be like most of vegetables you know what I mean it's a vegetable soup and trust me you're gonna sell off fans are gonna love this one really nice for that nice time spring onion don't forget to spring onion it's a must all right put that in it I got some white onion which we just cut up a while ago. Just cut up a white onion. One tablespoon of it. But too small. God, there's more things to go in it. But anyway, we have to work around things, you know what I mean? Because when you are cook, you have to learn to create things. I'm not gonna take out no more the liquid because you know so by the time that cook down gonna be dry garlic can't cook soup without garlic let's chuck this in it like this nice and lovely the the pumpkin will be mashing out and all these things so you know what i mean all we have to do is just load this for it to go and cook down in the meantime nice and lovely as i can see how the soup looks so what left that for about 20 minutes or uh, 15 minutes at least but on there can i put this on and put like even piece of uh, um no the pot full up still but we're going to put a piece of uh this is ripe planting that's gonna bring in a lovely flavor so put that on nice and lovely all right load that let that go and cook for the next 15 minutes all right and we will see what happened nice and lovely guys so basically the soup i turned on my stove a little bit low in between i was just keep stirring it like this and like this and like this all right what i'm going to do is to put a pack of cox um not cock soup for <laughs> chicken this one is a well what are the pumpkin flavor soup noodle I'm gonna show you the one which I've been using. This is the uh, 
pumpkin flavor mix. Yeah, this is the one I've been gonna be using it. So this one, the vegan them can use this one, and the vegetarian can use this one. All right, this one is pretty good to use. All right, so what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna chuck one pack of it inside of it, make it go and cook, and bring in that nice, lovely red pumpkin color, and that's the color I've been looking for. So it's gonna be amazing. So as I can see, the soup is taking its time and cooking down, down and down and down. Yeah, this one is a uh, oh, nice and lovely vegetable soup or vegan soup, whatever you wanna call it. It's up to you guys. Cover it back and allow it for it to go and cook for another good ten minutes. Nice and lovely, guys. So basically. As I say, I load the soup for another good 10 to 15 minutes on a medium size heat. See it a bubble? Bubble it a bubble. Alright, so we'll just give it a stir. Yeah, dumpling. We got some vegetable. Look a bit thick, but that's fine. You know what I mean? It's alright, perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Once you put in all of your vegetable and your noodle and everything and make it cook down and it come to this. Just turn off your stove, finish, done and dusted. So what I'm going to do is shear it out now and make it guys see how it look on the plate. And you know what I mean? It's an amazing recipe and I'm really happy it came out so lovely and nice. I'm gonna shear it out now to make the fans them see exactly what's going on. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching the show. It is a vegetable soup. Vegan can have it, vegetarian can have it, and also it's just for the weather like now winter we have more soup will be coming in chicken soup beef soup lamb soup cold food soup all different kind of soup you name it and you tell me what you want me to make for you all right guys thank you so much and stay tuned don't go nowhere i'm gonna be sharing it out now nice and lovely so basically i got this big plate right here just butter two crusty slice of bread which i'm gonna put it right here where well, you guys can have that anyway i'm gonna be dishing out my soup now and honestly guys <laughs> may i tell you this are soup, yeah, amazing. When them say amazing grace, this is exactly what Chef Ricardo been talking about when me talking about soup. You know what I mean? Me love my soup. Trust me, me love my soup, and me make that soup, yeah. Me decide say me have to share this with the fans, yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> me not talking, you know. Just I keep my mouth closed at the moment. Now the pot. I eat this. I eat that. You know? I eat that right now. Yeah. I eat this. May I tell you? I eat that at the moment. Really nice and lovely. And trust me. This is soup, yeah. Are the best soup I ever make. Without no chicken, no beef, nothing inside of it. It is just like this. It is amazing soup. Thank you so much for watching Chef Ricotta Show. It is a vegetable soup, vegetarian soup, no meat, nothing inside of it. And that's how we do it in Chef Ricotta Kitchen, especially in winter and it all is this time of the year. You know what I mean? You need something like this. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Google Plus me and get your favorite recipe. My name is Chef Ricardo, and we will always continue to do the top and the best recipe in this whole entire world. We love it. You understand, guys? Honestly, have this in the winter, can't go wrong. Anyway, the bread, the butter which I'm been using on it is an unsalted butter, it's a vegan butter, yeah? You can get that in the store or supermarket to buy, to use. All right, guys, so thank you so much for watching my show, and that is some crusty, bread and been using with the vegetarian soup vegan can have the soup because there's no meat nothing inside of it no milk no sugar no nothing natural real and authentic for the winter time stay tuned don't go anywhere and i will see you next time bye bye